Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional for this fourth day of July, and happy Independence Day for all those in America and elsewhere, and uh, let's uh, praise the Lord for our independence and our liberty, amen, and uh, we can truly be free in Christ Jesus, amen, so praise the Lord, and uh, so I'll read you those, uh, or give you those references uh, that I looked up about liberty, and amen, so praise the Lord for that, and uh, today's topic is going to be titled, Honor in the Rain for this fourth day of July, Monday. And uh, before we start on all that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And hope and pray that He's your Lord and Savior today. Amen. And so we're going to start with today's scripture song. And I'm going to let you listen to it first so you can uh, hear that uh, string part that I was talking about yesterday. So, and then we'll sing it together. Amen. All right, here we go. <clears throat> First Thessalonians 4, 15 through 18. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Amen. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with That's the right, voice with of the shout. archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. For this will be saying unto you by the word of the Lord. For this will be saying unto you. Amen. <laughs> and that final one at the end there. All right, I'll try that again, and uh, we'll sing along with them. If you haven't uh, been singing along, I'm sure you probably have. But just wanted to listen to the little First thing Thessalonians part. 4, Amen. 15 through 18. For, For this, this we say unto you by the, by the word of the Lord, Lord that, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend, descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. Here we go. This we say unto you by the word of the Lord. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. That we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord. 
shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up, caught up, caught up. Amen. Together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up. Caught up. Caught up. Together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord wherefore comfort one another with these words Amen <laughs> and that final string there praise the Lord all right, so we'll do that again towards the end of the broadcast, along with yesterday's. Amen. And before we get started on today's topic, I wanted to give you these references here for uh, liberty. Amen. And so the first one was 2 Corinthians 3.17. All right, so really quick here, 2 Corinthians 3.17. And it says here in verse 17... Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. And then the second one is Galatians 2.14, or no, 2.4, excuse me, 2.4, so Galatians 2, verse 4. All right, so Galatians 2.4, and it says here, um, And that, because of false brethren unaware, is brought in, who came in privily to spy out our liberty, which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage. And then uh, um, re recommend you read uh, the beginning here. And uh, amen. So that's that one. And then Galatians uh, 5, uh, verses 1 and 13, uh, 15, or no, 13. So Galatians 5, uh, verse 1. And it says here, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Amen. And then uh, verse 13 says, uh, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty, only uh, use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. And then James one twenty five. So James one twenty five. All right, twenty five. It says in verse twenty five. It says, "But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed." Amen. So. Those are some of the references on liberty, and amen. So praise the Lord again. Those were 2 Corinthians 3.17, Galatians 2.4, Galatians 5.1 and 13, and then James 1.25. So praise the Lord for liberty, and you have real liberty in Christ Jesus. All right, now it's time to get into today's topic from the Baptist Bread devotional booklet titled Honor in the Rain for this fourth day of July. And it says here in Deuteronomy 4.9, only take heed to thyself, and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart. Deuteronomy 4, 9. And today's author is C.S. I believe that's uh, the initials for Chris Staub. 
if I remember correctly. So CS. All right. Yep. Christophe, he's the pastor of Silver Silvery Lane Baptist Church in Dearborn Heights, Michigan. So let me read you what he wrote on this topic of honor in the rain. He says here, writes here, It was pouring down rain. Officers and others were late, and the traffic was backed up near Fort Campbell, Kentucky. The traffic was just beginning to open up when something exasperating and yet convicting occurred. Uh, to everyone's dismay, a young soldier, just a private, got out of his car as they approached the uh, Gander Memorial. This was a site commemorating the worst uh, re redeployment accident in the 101st Airborne Division's history. 256 soldiers and crew died in 1985 as they were leaving Gander International Airport in Nova Scotia to fly to Fort Campbell after being deployed for six months in the Sinai. Small flags had been placed at each of the 256 plaques honoring the dead. The soldier got out of his car in a, in a pouring rain, getting soaked as he ran to the memorial. Car horns were honking and tempers were flaring. The soldier picked up one fallen American flag and reset it. He stood at attention, saluted the flag, and ran back to his car. The horns stopped honking and a silence seemed to settle over the traffic jam. It was later learned that one of his family members had died in the crash. As Americans, we mourn the loss of every soldier in each branch of our military. May God bless and watch over all the men and women serving their country this July 4th and every day, lest we forget. Right, and uh, we're soldiers in Christ Jesus, so, and we're to endure hardness as a good soldier of Christ, amen, and we're in a spiritual battle and a spiritual army, so amen. All right, so that was the end of that, uh, a little bit of a, a tearjerker there, people getting upset and mad at this soldier doing this, and then all of a sudden they stop and realize why he was doing this, and so we should all take a moment and honor those who... Uh, died serving our country amen so praise the lord for that liberty and freedom but you know you got those uh dictators and those um people that are trying to take it away and want to bring communism into this country and keep praying to god that that doesn't happen but uh one day jesus will rule and reign and um so let's not fret about that but one day jesus will set up his kingdom here and he will be the final ruler and reigner amen so praise the lord for that all right, so today's uh, topic for the Boots on the Ground is titled The Real Enemy, and this takes place on July 4, 362 um, B.C., and the passage is Galatians 5, 15, But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another, Galatians 5, 15, and we shouldn't... Uh, we shouldn't do this. We shouldn't bite and devour one another. We should uh, learn to get along as Christians. Amen. All right. So today's topic is titled The Real Enemy. On 4 July 362 B.C., the Ban, uh, uh, Theban, General um, Epaminondasa, uh, that's uh, E-P-A-M-I-N-O-N-D-A-S, M. Pamman Adosa led an army against the ancient Spartans at the Second Battle of Mantinea, M A N T I N E A, Mantinea. For years, uh, the Peloponnesian Peninsula, um, that's P E L O P O N N E S I A N, Peloponnesian uh, Peninsula had been uh, racked with war over which city-state would claim uh, hed hegemony over ancient Greece. Warfare during this time primarily included light and heavy infantry, chariots, war elephants, and cal ca cav cavalry. 
uh, the two armies met near Mantinia, uh, now called Arcadia, as was typical of classical Greek combat. Both sides gave battle by charging one another with their heavy hoplite uh, flaxnes. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. It's P H A L A N X E S. Um, flaxnes. Uh, but on this occasion, Empanadonis elected to have his uh, uh, Theban. Uh, hoplites marched in column formation across the face of the enemy line, then had uh, them execute a sharp right turn into the enemy right flank. Empenmenosus uh, personally led this column, uh, but was mortally wounded in the fight. Despite having won the battle and watching the fight of the Spartans, Empamnodosus, it instructed his men to make peace, lacking this leader and, <clears throat> excuse me, lacking their leader and weakened by losses, both the Thebans and Spartans proved vulnerable to the rising power from the north, Macedonia. Less than a quarter century later, Philip II of Macedon would conquer the entire portion of uh, southern Greece. Effect so effectively uh, ending the Theban and Athenian dominion. Disagreements and disputes have led to real combat and bloodshed. Uh, Paul instructs Christians to be careful not to bite and devour one another. Christians must be on guard for division, for pointless argumentation or greediness uh, that divides us and distracts us, right? A Christian you may know the facts and be a better debtor, but winning an argument with someone isn't truly a victory. Hmm. Satan seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. John 10.10 10. Refuse to give him a foothold. Ephesians 4.27 4, uh, Disagree gently and only when you need to, remembering who the real enemy is. 1 Peter 5.8 So, let's remember that, not the Bite and devour one another, but to get along and uh, real, realize who the real enemy is. Amen. And it shouldn't be us fighting and uh, being against one another over uh, petty little things. Amen. All right. So that is the end of the boots on the ground. Amen. And so we could not find a tune for today's uh, hymn. So I'm just going to read it to you. And uh, maybe you can try to find one uh, later on or... Get somebody to play this for you on the piano. All right, so this is uh, Hymn 58, titled Break Forth Into Praise. And it's uh, in Hymn, and it's Praise Unto Christ. And this is by Charles Wesley, who lived from 1707 to 1788. And it says, um, attributed to Ludring von Beethoven, who lived from 1770 to 1827. And from Wesley's Hymns and New Supplement, 1877. So, break forth un, in, into praise. <clears throat> All right, so there's four stanzas here. It says, break forth into praise, our surety and head, his members to raise, hath rose from the dead, the power of his spirit, hath quickened our Lord, that we by his merit May all be restored. Our captain and king, with shouts we proclaim, And joyfully sing the wonderful name, The name all victorious we publish, And feel triumphantly glorious O'er sin, earth, and hell. The power of his uh, rise we know and declare, And wrapped to the skies, His happiness share In heavenly places with Jesus, we sit, and Jesus praises with angels repeat. We sing of his love while sojourning uh, uh, here, till Christ from above our Savior appear. The heirs of salvation with triumph receive in full con consummation of glory to live. Amen. So 
that was the hymn, Let's Break Forth Into Praise. And let me give you the references. There is no story for this one, but I'll give you the references for it. So, uh, stanza one, we have Hebrews 7.22, 1 Peter 3.18, and Romans 4.25. Stanza two is 1 Timothy 1.17, uh, Hebrews 2, 9 through 12, and Colossians 2, 15. Stanza 3 is Romans 1, 16, Romans 5, 12, and Ephesians 2, 5, and 6. And then stanza 4 is Colossians 3, 16, Titus 2, 13, and 1 Thessalonians 4, 17. Amen. So that was break forth into praise. And, uh, amen. <clears throat> All right, and tomorrow's hymn is titled praise him praise him and i know there's a tune for this one uh so this was uh hymn 59 in the psalms and hymns the spiritual songs book so amen and uh there is a story for this one and it's written by fanny crosby all right so put that aside and we'll go ahead and sing some scripture songs again before i wrap it up for today so I'll do yesterday's and then conclude with today's amen all right, here we go. Psalms 19, 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh, oh Lord. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh, Lord. O oh, Lord, my strength. Oh, my Redeemer, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Amen. All right, now we'll conclude with today's. First Thessalonians 4, 15 through 18. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. Here we go. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up, caught up, caught up, to meet the in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord when we which are alive and remain shall be caught up then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up caught up 
together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. One for comfort, one another with these words. Amen. <laughs> All right. Praise the Lord. Good hymn, or good uh, scripture song there, and scripture about uh, being caught up to be with the Lord. Amen. All right, so that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topics for the Baptist bread and boots on the ground devotionals. So tomorrow is uh, uh, the fifth day of July, and it'll be Titus two thirteen that we'll be singing, and it says looking for that blessed hope. Amen. So it's always be looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So that's tomorrow's scripture song. And then tomorrow's uh, Baptist bread will be titled, We Were Unaware. And this is uh, um, passage is Amos 3, 7 is the passage, passage. And the author is Brother Tim Green. So that's tomorrow's topic, We Were Unaware. And then the Boots on the Ground devotional for tomorrow is titled Carry On. And this takes place on July 5th, 1983. And the passage is 2 Corinthians 12.10. So that'll be tomorrow's Boots on the Ground. And then tomorrow's hymn again will be titled uh, Praise Him, Praise Him. Amen. Hymn 59. And that's from the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And that's found on MelodyPublications.com. Amen. And then the Scripture Songs book and CDs are available on Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website at www.DailyScriptureSongs.com. Or, um, yep, amen, you can find that there. And they are missionaries to Port Kaituma, Guyana. Amen. And then the uh, Baptist Bread devotional book, this is the cover to it for this month and next month. And you can find that, get a subscription going by going to www.baptistbread.com or www.timgreenministries.org and then finally we got the Boots on the Ground devotional book and that's available on the internet, amen and that's Boots on the Ground Daily Devotions for the Christian Soldier by Randy Wells, amen alright, and uh, pray for us we're going out to do some ministry today uh, for the July events so we're going to uh, some parade this morning and then uh, in the evening we're going to different places like Deltona and uh, and Lake Helen and New Smyrna Beach. Amen. So pray for those uh, ministries, those 4th of July uh, day ministries, and pray that people will be receptive and we can get lots of tracks out and uh, somebody would have a desire to be saved today. Amen. And if you're watching and you're not saved, well, today is the day of salvation, so make sure you get that uh, taken care of today. Amen. So you don't have to perish in your sin and die and go to hellfire. So the Lord wants to save you. He's ready to save you. If you'll just humble yourself and call upon him, it says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. All right, well, that'll be it for today. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, bye for now.